The DJI Mini 2 can shoot photos in JPEG and RAW, making this drone even more powerful. And I'm gonna talk about why you should shoot photos in RAW. What's up everyone, my name is Farhan, welcome to another video, I hope you're doing well and staying safe. JPEGs are considered to be the standard file format in the digital photography world. A few benefits of shooting JPEG over RAW images include image editing is done for you, a smaller file size, however the drawbacks of shooting JPEGs are loss of detail less color options, and lower dynamic range. RAW format is uncompressed and is not an image file, per se. In fact, RAW files are a collection of data from your camera's sensor that are saved on your camera. Most professional photographers prefer to shoot in RAW. There are several advantages to shooting RAW images over JPEG, including high quality image files, increased brightness, more colors in your images, higher dynamic range. The only drawbacks to RAW formats is that the file size is huge and you have to edit your RAW photos. JPEG photos don't give you much room to edit with. However, editing RAW photos gives you a lot of room to edit with as it stores so much information in the shadows. I shot a couple of photos during sunset and they were all shot in JPEG plus RAW. And I'm gonna edit them in Lightroom to show you the difference between JPEGs and RAW photos. Okay, so I've exported photos that were shot in JPEG and RAW. As you know, when you choose the option of shooting photos on the Mini 2, um, you only have two options. One is just JPEG and the other one is JPEG plus RAW, not just RAW. For this video, for the purpose of this video, it is a good thing, but I don't know why you also get the JPEG plus RAW version when you want to shoot in RAW. But anyway, uh, let's just get into it. So this, um, I took five photos of the sunset and they were obviously shot in JPEG plus RAW. So I'm just gonna use Lightroom's auto settings on the RAW version and the JPEG version so you guys can see the amount of difference that it makes. Now, if you look at this photo here, it is, um, it's, it's in DNG, which is a raw file. And as you see that, um, there's very less detail over here, but obviously because it's a raw file, it's a much bigger file. It's not compressed. You have a lot of details retained in the shadows, which you can always bring up and gives you more flexibility to edit. And the second one is the counterpart, which is shot in JPEG. So you see um quite a difference even before being edited that here all the details are preserved it's it's very much underexposed even the sun and if you look at this one you can still see much of this um a bit of this building here shadows a bit um they're a little higher and the highlights are just blown out so just a big difference there um let me start with the auto settings of the jpeg first and this is what it looks like in, in this the jpeg and this one is the raw version of the same photo so i'm just gonna hit auto settings on this one and that really is different compared to the other one so this is the one that's in raw and this is the one that's in jpeg look at the sun it's just totally blown out and it's got like it's got hues of um yellowish green over here and it just doesn't look that great but the single raw photo over here look at how much uh, information has been retained and if you look at the sun over here it's much much better compared to the um, jpeg version and if you want you can always like you know play around with the shadows and bring them up over here you see the difference it makes and if i come over here um i bring up the shadows as well it just it just looks weird 
so yeah, this is this is um, the main difference of shooting in RAW and JPEG. This is that you get so much so much information retained in uh, your photo. That's why the file size is much bigger compared to your JPEG. Um, when you shoot raw photos on your mini 2, it's approximately 40 MB if I'm not mistaken and JPEG is much 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 more um, Smaller because it's it's compressed and um, Just everything automated automated colors and it's just baked in so it doesn't really give you much room to edit as you can see here As you can see from these photos, it makes a world of a difference to shoot photos in RAW and edit them as compared to JPEGs. I hope I've convinced you to shoot your photos from your Mini 2 in RAW and to edit them as well because you can get way more creative and you can find a side in you that you never knew before. So get creative in editing your photos. On that note, that's it for this video guys. Do hit the like button on this video so it reaches more people and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, take care and stay safe. Photos. On that note, that's the... On that note, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. On that note, that...